Hello friends, welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Dr. Raju Sekharin. Whatever I have learned, whatever I have experienced, I am sharing as videos to the viewers and they are finding it really useful and it gives me a great happiness. Today I have come up with another interesting topic, a conceptual framework. Why conceptual framework is essential? First of all, what is conceptual framework? how it will help you in your research, why it is essential, all those things today we'll see in, the, in, our, uh, in my presentation. Come, let's get started. First, why do we need this? See, you know very well a concept, the meaning of the word concept, you know, clearly it's an idea. So the framework, it gives you a complete, a conceptual framework is the researcher's idea. Huh? And how the research problem will have to be explored. Without this, you will not be, you will not have any root map. It's kind of a root map. And the conceptual framework embodies the specific direction by which the research will have to be undertaken. Because it takes you, you know, it just holds your hand and it takes you to, to the right direction. And what are the what are the functions of the conceptual framework? See, first thing it's very simple. The conceptual framework illustrates what you expect to find through your research. What is the ultimate objective of your research? It defines the relevant variables for your study and maps out how they might relate each other. You may have too many variables, no dependent, independent variables. Probably you can have more independent variables, but the conceptual framework only will establish the relationship, causal relationship between these variables. But you should construct conceptual framework before you begin collecting the data. You can't do this after collecting the data. Because based on the concept only, you need to collect the data. No, you, you can't do that vice versa. A lot of people, they collect the data, then they'll decide what concept they need to do. No, that's absolutely wrong. So first you have to decide this even before collecting the data. It is often, you need to have a, often a visual representation of the framework. Okay, first collection of the data, then you apply this variable and you do this particular analysis, all these things you need to have clearly. And in general, if you take after the literature review, uh, normally, because that will help you to identify what are the other works they have completed in your particular area, then after doing the literature review, you can fix the conceptual framework based on the previous studies as well as you could have find, you, know, you could have found the gap, then you will be able to create exact niche for your research, then with that particular input, you can create your conceptual framework. And why it is essential, how it will helpful, how it is being helpful. See, first thing, it forces, see, conceptual framework forces the researcher to develop tunnel vision. That's what very highly focused vision on what specific things the research objectives addresses. A research objective address or addresses. The reason somebody what they they can do without concepts of framework, but they do not know where to start, where to end. It will be a complete chaos. They'll they'll land in no man land. That there won't be any fruitful outcome. And because it helps the researcher to focus on important relationships between the variables, the data to be collected, and how to link up. <coughs> link up those data in the analysis also, you will be able to, uh, what do you call, design, no, derive from conceptual framework only. That's why conceptual framework is a kind of a blueprint, a road map. It's very essential after conducting the literature, if you prepare this, your research will be very, very easy. And statistically, if you speak about this conceptual framework, how it is going to be helpful because it describes the relationship between specific variables identified in the study. See, you have to have variable, assume that uh, independent variable, dependent variable. You want to study the, uh, what do you call, the exam score of the student, those who study well, or study long time. What will be the exam score? Say, exam score is the dependent variable. Study time is the independent variable. So when you have, in a, what different see, somebody who studies for eight hours, his score may be considerably it may be good. Somebody who studies for four hours, his score may be less. So here, the conceptual framework will tell you the causal relationship between the study time as well as the score. 
the maximum the, the the amount of study time increases the amount of mark also increases so the concept will tell you you need to test these two things to prove whether is there any relationship or not that is the main thing and another thing it also outlines the input input process input process and output of the whole investigation how to you have to input the data how to you have to process how it has to be output all those things will be clearly given in the uh, framework and it is also called the research paradigm because it, it gives you the base for you from this base only you are going to build the no, this is the foundation from which on you are going to build your research so if you spend clear time to do this uh, you know understand and create your concepts of framework and you will be able to succeed very well in your uh, research see these are the question generally the concepts of framework will address first one what do you want to do in your research that's what the research topic why do you want to do it why is it important to conduct this research and why is it significant what aims will it seek to achieve which specific objective will it pursue how much scope will it cover all those things will, will give you in the concepts of framework how do you plan to do it which methodology are going to apply which methods will you use who will be your participant what is your uh, data collection method how are you going to collect and how are you going to analyze and how will you make meaning of the data that's what what kind of theoretical framework you are going to use in this conceptual framework to interpret your data clearly and finally which world view will you locate your research for example if you be in a positivist world you are interpretivist paradigm or critical paradigm or para pragmatic paradigm which particular paradigm you will use philosophical paradigm you use all those things will be able to know only if you have a conceptual framework so if you now you will understand if you have a conceptual framework it will give you all these things in my next video let me tell you exactly how to frame a conceptual framework in the next video till then bye from rajshekar i'll meet you in the next video bye bye